Hey guys, so today's the 28th, today's Saturday, and we actually moved. We moved yesterday, and today I think we almost 95% maybe finished unpacking everything. Um, we still need to get used to this whole thing and, you know, figure out who's doing what and how and why, because we already lived by ourselves for more than three years and it's kind of new to live with the parents you know so um we'll see hopefully it will end up being okay my mom actually has a problem with the dog because she's not a dog person so when she is you know playing and ruining and stuff around the house it's a really big tragedy so we'll try to make her behave as much as we can i'm not sure that it will be possible because she's a puppy but um yeah anyways last night i had a couple of minutes to stitch so i picked up this just because i didn't really need to think about stitching can you see how amazing the fabric is stretched this is my millennium frame i actually am still trying to find a spot to film because um back home where we lived before um i had a lot of time at home alone so it doesn't matter i could have just filmed whatever i wanted and nobody disturbed me but here um well my mom is always home my husband is working but i still need to find a place where i can film with uh, good enough lighting and stuff so um right now i'm filming in my bedroom just close the door so nobody will disturb me and i am filming on my bed and the lighting is, is the best i think just because the window is right in front of me so um so this is what i have i'm thinking i'm going to stitch this tonight tonight today because i don't have to think and i'm tired and i don't want to read charts i actually wanted to stitch my chimera for a little while but um my tablet is without battery so i need to do something and i need to stitch something just to relax um so i think this is the best option i can stitch my octopus but i don't feel like octopus today I don't feel like threads, like wool threads. This is very easy stitch. You know, you don't have to use a chart. You don't have to think too much. Everything is already printed. Everything is perfect. And I really enjoy stitching with um, on 14 count and especially with uh, beautiful threads because the colors here are amazing. And I really, really love um, Chinese threads. I know it's not DMC, but can you see how shiny they are? I think they are beautiful. I think this project will be very interesting. I am very interested in knowing how it will come out in the end. Just because it's not an original kit. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it will look good in the end. I know that sometimes these kits don't give you the best outcome outcome just because of the colors or just because they make some changes but um i don't know hopefully it will come out right for now i'm just enjoying the process okay anyways i don't know if i'll be able to film again today because we have plans for tonight but i am going to sti stitch this for a little while and maybe i will s film tomorrow well, I will film tomorrow because I have three days off. We have Rosh Hashanah and it's a vacation. It's holidays. Okay, so guys, I'll see you tomorrow and wish me luck with the puppy. Hey guys, today is the 29th and it's Sunday and we are finally done with unpacking everything and now we are just resting. Today is holiday. Today is... um. Rosh Hashanah Eve so um, in about half an hour we're going to my uncle's house and we're going to make some holiday <laughs> dinner well, we're not going to make it it's already ready but we're going to have a holiday dinner um, and yeah we'll see I think it will be kind of fun though I am kind of tired and I don't feel like going anywhere but you know you have to anyways today i did have some time to stitch i actually 
Oh, I'm sorry for the squeaking. This is my dog. <laughs> my puppy is playing with his toy. Um, anyways, I stitched my Himera today. I took it easy. I haven't um, rushed into anything. Um, and this is what I have. It's kind of reminding me of Hayed because it has so many color changes. I mean, this project is supposed to be a little bit easier just because I do use, um, I'm sorry for the squeaking really, um, I do use a di digital chart, I use my uh, cross stitch saga which helps me really really much, a lot with stitching this and progressing and not losing any singles but um, still it has a lot of color changes and you know but still, I think it's looking very, very good. Look at the process. Everything is very, very neat. It's 18 count and I love it. So, um, anyways, today I have done, let's see, my cross stitch saga. This is today, the 29th, and today I have stitched 387 crosses and I have 4% 4.80% 4 um, finished which is just a tiny tiny little bit but it is a progress so hopefully tonight when I'll come home I'll be able to do a little bit of my diamond painting painting um, I don't really know how to because uh, the table that I brought here to use for my diamond painting my husband actually put his computer on it so he has made himself kind of a little office to play on the computer so we'll see so maybe I will just open another I have a big table that I can use so I will use that for my diamond painting and hopefully it will be comfortable enough we'll see uh, I'll also I want to purchase a lamp because my mom's house kind of dark well it's not dark but the lamps the overhead lamps are very like yellowish and I need to change that for a cooler light and maybe I need some um, you know fluorescent lighting for my diamond painting just so I won't ruin my eyes so anyways today was kind of a stitchy day half of it at least because at the morning we went to the store to buy some food because we are three people now and we need food <laughs> and tonight in like half an hour we're going to my uncle's house so I had like half a day to stitch anyways um hopefully I'll be able to come back tonight show you about my diamond painting a little bit about my organization here uh, if I will be able to organize something um, if not, I'll come back tomorrow because tomorrow I think I will be able to stitch a little bit. Though I'm not sure because tomorrow we have plans to go to our friends. So we will have like half a day at our friend's house. So anyways, okay, I'm blub blubbering. <laughs> um, I'll see you tonight or hopefully tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is the 1st of October and here I am. <laughs> This is my cat. Somebody actually asked me to show my cat. So here he is. Hey. Hey. He's really big. Can you see his paws? Hey. Hey. He's such a cutie. We are already at my mom's house. Can you see? This is my room. And this is my baby. And all our other animals that are outside i'm actually in my bedroom so i don't really have a spot to film yet so i'm filming on my bed um wanted to update you yesterday i couldn't film i actually haven't stitched at all yesterday because i didn't have any time i was busy in the morning and i made some uh corn dogs and at four o'clock in the afternoon we went to our friend's house back to ashkelon where we lived and we played D and D until one o'clock at night, so it was very fun. <laughs> but I didn't have a chance to film, and I didn't have a chance to stitch. So today I actually wanted to relax a little bit. Though we did went to our um, 
apartment and we did a little cleaning back there so I just started stitching at about like four o'clock in the afternoon and I started with this I just wanted to do something really really easy not looking at charts not doing anything special just stitching for my enjoyment and of course this is the easiest thing I have um yes this is a little bit of a problematic kit for me just because well i ran out of threads and i keep stitching and being afraid that i won't have enough thread but um that's okay i'm doing this for fun so this is not something i'm going to frame i don't think so i just do this for the experience for the fun and i'm going to put this aside for now maybe one day I'll do something with it, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm done with the down part. Can you see all the grass? Everything is finished over here. Is the thread that I was missing was the right color that they sent me. And now I'm going up. I'm already at the sky. And it's actually a very easy area just because it's stitched with one color. Can you see like 2, 2, 17, 17? Not a knot not a lot of color changes so it's kind of easy um it is kind of a scary kit just because um can you see how little thread we have i mean i'm sure that this will be enough hopefully this needs to be enough for the sky area but still they give you just a tiny bit of thread and that's not very comfortable because you really want to stitch this really close together so the coverage will be good enough and you won't have any problems with seeing the fabric on the back because I have areas like over here I don't know if you can see it on camera but I do see the fabric in the back or in the roof I don't like when you see the fabric in the back anyways it's a fun project it's very very easy but it has a problem um, I do have another long stitch kit that I stitch that I don't stitch that I am planning on stitching not right now we'll see maybe I'll pick it up a little bit later because I want to start a new kit after this that is very interesting so yeah um, for today I'm done with this and I want to stitch a little bit of my retro roll no, not rose, retro lilacs. So let me show you for a tiny little bit what I have with my retro lilacs and then I'll go back to stitch. Alrighty, so this is my retro lilacs and this is what I already have done. Um, I'm already starting with the flowers downstairs. Let me show you the preview. This is the preview. I'm in this area. So um even though i started from the middle i actually used the chart to start from the middle from somewhere around here uh still i have this feeling that this is not exactly a preview of um ready kit i think it's just an image from a computer just because it looks like the crosses are not real and it's you can you see my flowers have already covered this little part this little swirl and here you can see it so I'm not sure why because I did start really really start from the middle um, hopefully I'll have enough of the swirls to see in my frame so yeah but I'm sure that this is just a preview of a computer image it's not a real stitch anyways this is what I'm going to do later on tonight i think we're going to go out for a store for a little shopping and after that i'm going home and i'm going to stitch tomorrow i have another day off so tomorrow i will definitely be stitching a lot i don't want to do anything special just want to rest and have some fun with my cross stitch so yeah um i'll see you hopefully a little bit later maybe later on tonight and i will update you on my stitching and yep hey say goodbye he's actually cleaning himself it got really really dirty kiza my little baby he's a good cat yep he's coming
cleaning his paws. Okay. Oh, great. No. <laughs> Such a good boy. Everybody is in love with him. Alright, anyways, I'll see you later. Hey guys, so today is the second and it's Sunday. Yep, it's Sunday. And I actually had a free day and I had some time to stitch. Um, I don't know if I stitched that much, but mostly I stitched my Himera. That's basically the only thing I stitched today. So I did have a tiny bit of progress. Um... I did stitch quite a bit considering other days where I stitched like 200 crosses but um, it's kind of a difficult area I am stitching around this can you see it's kind of a confetti and there's a lot and lots of color changings changings <laughs> changes plus there are uh, quite a few blends so um, yeah it's taking quite a bit of time so the entire day that I was stitching that's for about like four hours maybe five I have stitched I will show you in a second on the program but I have stitched well a nice amount but not crazy um, it is really difficult um, as for an area wise um, can you see it's kind of appearing right now, so it's kind of a flower. I think these are flowers and we will have like planets over here, but it's still kind of abstract, so I can't really tell. It's coming, it's coming very, very slowly, especially this area is much harder than I was expecting, so um, I will not say that stitching Himera is easier than a Heaven and Earth design. The only thing that makes it much easier is the fact that you have digital charts, and if you don't um, like or if you prefer using like digital chart charts over um, paper charts, which I do because paper charts in like pro in, in projects like this is very very difficult because you have a lot of singles and a lot of color changes so I prefer digital um, it is taking a lot of time but that's fine let me show you my threads because it's been a while since I have showed you my organizers so I do use Dupco organizers I do paint the uh, symbols on it I colored them on they are very flexible I used to hate them but today I actually am in love with them they're very comfortable for me and I am loving using them they are light they're not taking much space and they are not being ruined like the other ones with the plastic thingies over here so I do really enjoy them and can you see the colors I know that they're a little bit um, messy. I didn't braid them this time. Maybe I should, but I don't see the point really. Um, but the colors are beautiful. I'm sure that I will have to buy more. I do have more in my stash because I got more threads than needed for this project. But hopefully there will be enough. Some beautiful, beautiful colors, mostly blues because everything around is blue, like waters and stuff. But I love it. Um, now let's see what's I, what's in my chart. This is my cross stitch saga. This is the one that I'm stitching right now. Mm -hmm. Open, open. The pattern opens. All right. So this is the chart. Um, I'll try try to do this so it will be enough um i'm not sure you can see <laughs> um anyways it's kind of hard to see but this entire area i've already stitched but you can also see it in the uh stitching <laughs> on the stitching itself anyways let's see how much i did today so today is the second and today i actually stitched 486 stitches Cross stitches so that's quite a bit considering the other the, the <laughs> these numbers are, are the amount of crosses that I did there were days of that where I actually stitched 39 <laughs> this is crazy 
but yeah lately I have been sitting on it quite a bit like on the 26th I have stitched 501 and today I did 486 you really need to um, put some time to do this if you want to have the right amount of crosses you know the enough amount of <laughs> crosses I guess because these areas are very difficult these are quite um, easier because there are colors that are like in big spots big areas but this is really confetti so yeah not much uh, not much easier than a heaven and earth design but just as fun <laughs> anyways um I think I will put it down for today it's already what time is it I think it's eight no no it's um nine o'clock it's eight fifty seven um so i am putting it down and i think i will go rest for a little bit or maybe i will take on my um maybe i'll take some time for my joy sunday maybe i will just because i want to do something easy and i don't want to stop stitching for today yeah, and my puppy is going crazy. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Sorry, my mom is going crazy on my dog. <laughs> um, anyways, I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I, I'm starting to work tomorrow. So hopefully everything will be okay. And I will be stitching when I come back home. I think later on in the evening. We'll see. So um, this is what I have today. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, today is um, 4th of October and it's already Friday, so the week flew by, um, we're already settled in, well, as you can hear, having a little bit of trouble with the puppy and with my mom because she's not a dog person and puppy is very active, but hopefully she will grow fast and stop making problems because she is really annoying sometimes <laughs> anyways um yesterday i did stitch this a little bit i just wanted to update you and i think i'll keep stitching this now too because i kind of got into it um it was a little while sorry it took me a little while to start stitching it again because i have my chimera that i really like to stitch and like the ret retro rose no retro lilacs for now <laughs> So um, this one is going pretty slow lately, though it started very fast, but it's going pretty slow. But um, I am loving it. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I just have so many projects that I love that I can't really sit down and stitch a lot of one thing. But what I did, I actually st stitched over here and there are quite a lot of color changes. Well, not a lot, but enough color changes. I'm sorry, my dog is... I guess just met my cat <laughs> anyways what I did was went over here and because it's so far away uh, what I do is just flip the sorry I have it on my pillow <laughs> Um, I just flip it over and I stitch this way the crosses of course are going the same way so it doesn't really matter the only thing that I'm going from this side and it's really comfortable because I have this little area to stitch so I am filling up the background and I think it's looking very very good it's kind of easy stitch so it's not taking me a very long time to do last night I did this little area and I started filling up this area and I think that right now I will keep stitching this um, actually Fridays are cleaning day for us so my mom is a cleaning freak <laughs> and um, from morning until now we were cleaning the house and now that we are free I finally could update you and um, show you what I've done yesterday and what I'm going to do today. We'll see if I'll be able to update you again today. If not, then I'll say goodbye. Um, I will try. I will try to film another little clip to show you what I have done today because my hubby is coming home at about 6.37 and we're going to uh, visit friends again. So 
that's going to be our evening so I won't be able to stitch a lot tonight but until then I have a lot of free time on my hands so I will be able to stitch there's just a little bit left to go on this project so I really really want to finish it and see how it looks finished and start something new because I have a lot of planned um, stitching to do <laughs> anyways um, yeah for now I will say goodbye um, hopefully I'll be able to check in a little later again like I said if not that will be the end of my crafty crafty week um, I don't really remember if I was able to film a lot this week just because of the move and everything around I didn't really have the time to sit down and stitch a lot like I like to <laughs> so this um, week might be a little shorter though I'm, I think that some of the clips that I filmed this week were a little longer so um, it will um, take a little time to see uh, what am I trying to say <laughs> the video won't be short I don't know if you appreciate longer videos or do you like shorter clips um, me personally I do like watching videos that are longer like crafty cross stitch weeks on Russian YouTube that are taking like half an hour of story time I guess just because it's interesting not to keep changing the channels and just keep watching one channel that you like while stitching so that's my preference I don't know how about you I would like to know what you think if you'd like shorter clips or uh, do you like the long versions like 30 40 minutes videos I don't know I will try to do whatever you enjoy watching anyways um I'll see you a little bit later. Hopefully, if not, I will see you in my ne next uh, crafty week. Hey guys, so it's already 5 o'clock and yep, so I managed to stitch a little bit and this will be my last update for this crafty week. So I wanted to show you what I have done and I actually made a mistake but I don't think it's really important hopefully it won't ruin everything but as you can see I have filled up this area the only thing is this I don't know if you will be able to see can you see the lighter half crosses over here um, these are half crosses and these are supposed to be half crosses too they are supposed to be um, more 3d because these are um, regular threads and these are wool but by the key of this uh, project the symbol that I was stitching sorry for the lighting but it's already getting darker and I didn't turn on the light as you can see the, the symbol that I was stitching is this and I haven't noticed that it was half cross Can you see that so I actually stitched it with a full cross and this one is the one that I have stitched it's the lighter one this and this is the thing that I've stitched with half cross so hopefully it's not really important but yeah I did make that mistake and I don't think I'll be fixing that I think that would be okay for now hopefully it won't be very noticeable I actually can see the fishes already some of them at least and this is what I have for today. This whole part is finished and the only thing I have to do here is this little area and this. And I have to do some backstitch because there is some backstitch around the fishes and something around here. So that will uh, I will do a little bit later. For today I will be finishing this and well, maybe I will pick, pick up some of my uh, Chinese cross stitch my joy sunday we'll see just because it's really easy stitch so i think i will be doing that until my husband will come home and we'll see anyways um hopefully you had a beautiful week and you'll have a great weekend and i will see you in my next crafty week and yep yeah, so subscribe give me thumbs up write comments and i will see you next